We gather in your presence, God. In our need and bringing up with us the needs of the world. We come to you, for you come to us in Jesus. And you know by experience what human life is like. We come with our faith and with our doubts. We come with our hopes and with our fears. We come as we are, because you have invited us. And you have promised never to turn us away. Loving God, you gather us here tonight, here where many have come before us, seeking your healing, strength and love. You know us, God. You understand who we are. You know what troubles and puzzles us, what makes us smile and what makes us sad. You listen to our questions and our prayers. You know the people we love, God, and the people we struggle with. Sometimes we hurt others, sometimes we hurt ourselves. So we bring our own hurt, asking for healing, and we bring the hurt that we have caused to others, asking for forgiveness. Listen to the words of Jesus, words that we can trust. Don't be afraid. I love you. Your sins are forgiven. I will be with you always. Write these words in our hearts, loving God. Let them take root in our living. Amen. As soon as they left the synagogue, Jesus and his disciples entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Now, Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever, and they told him about her at once. He came and took her by the hand and lifted her up. Then the fever left her, and she began to serve them. That evening at sunset, they brought to Jesus all who were sick or possessed with demons, and the whole city was gathered around the door. And Jesus cured many who were sick with various diseases, and cast out many demons, and he would not permit the demons to speak, because they knew him. In the morning, while it was still very dark, Jesus got up and went out to a deserted place, and there he prayed. Simon and his companions hunted for him. When they found him, they said to him, Everyone is searching for you. Jesus answered, Let us go on to the neighbouring towns, so that I may proclaim the message there also. For that is what I came out to do. For the word of God in Scripture, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us. Thanks be to God. The names of people, places and circumstances for which prayer has been requested are placed before us. We ask God's blessing on all who care for others, for those who tend the sick, we ask guidance for those who administer health and welfare in this land, that in all they do, human worth may be valued and the service of human need fully resourced. Jesus, through your words and touch, those who were distressed found peace, and those who were tormented found rest. You prayed for those who were sick, and you restored them to health. You cried when a friend died and you shared the grief of those who mourn. Jesus, you taught us to pray, so in a moment of silence, we pray for all known to us who tonight need to know you are near. Wind of God, Blowing from the four corners of the earth, breathe on us. Our bones are dried up and our hope is lost. Breathe hope and sinew into our desperate spirits. In flooded village, in refugee camp, in hungry homes, 
May your arm be under the head of the helpless. May they rise up from the graveyard of despair and find new life through the power of love. hurricane of God blowing across the universe, stir the hearts of the compassionate, overturn the caution of the hesitant, that the resources of the world may be shared with the hungry, that tanks may be turned into tractors, and the debt of millions cancelled. Breath of God, gently whispering in our ears, remove the dust of apathy which clouds our vision. Energise us that we may be a source of comfort for the sick, a solace for the bereaved. Holy Spirit of comfort and change, send us out in confidence and joy to keep the faith and share it. God, our Maker, you call us to be your presence in the world. Here, through our hands and prayers, bring healing, hope, and peace. Spirit of the living God, present with us now, heal us in body, mind, and spirit, and free us from all that harms us. In Jesus' name, amen. May the mind of God, ever wiser than our minds, search us deeply and open us to the truths that make for our healing. May the ears of God, ever open to our prayers, listen for us deeply and hear beneath our words our honest yearnings. May the heart of God, ever filled with costly love, cherish us deeply, mending any brokenness and affirming our worth. May God keep us company this night and bring us joy in the morning. Amen. To God be the glory, to the saints and angels be honour, to those who would work evil be confusion. To the cross be reverence, to the church discernment, to the departed new life. To the penitent acceptance, to the suffering timely healing. To the four corners of the world be peace, and on us in this place may the compassion of God come to bless us and overshadow us continually. Amen.